Hey there, if you don't cook with your slow cooker on a regular basis, you certainly need to after today's video because I'm going to be showing you six new dump and go slow cooker recipes that will make your dinner time so easy at night. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go start slow cooking. To kick us off today, we are making this Asian sesame chicken. So to begin, I have my Asian sesame with ginger and soy dressing and marinade. I'm using the Ken's brand. I really think it tastes good. So I added a cup of that right in there. Next, you are going to add about a third a cup of these apricot preserves, and then you will add one one ounce packet of Lipton onion soup mix. You are going to whisk these ingredients to combine. Moving over to my slow cooker that I did spray with nonstick spray, I added my two big chicken breasts right in there. I did cut each of the chicken breasts into three smaller pieces just so they're easier to serve in the end. I poured the sauce over the top, put the lid on, and cooked this on low for about four to six hours or until my chicken was cooked. And here's my little baby Macy. She was my helper making this dinner. And here's the finished product ready to serve. I served it over a bed of white rice. I sprinkled the top with plenty of green onions and sesame seeds. This has wonderful flavor. It's fall apart tender and the sauce is really amazing over the rice too. Now we're making these barbecue ranch pork chops. Everybody needs a good barbecue pork chop recipe. So to my slow cooker, I added my two pounds of boneless pork chops that I did season on both sides with salt and pepper. Into my crock pot to go along with the pork chops, I'm adding one and three-fourths cup of chicken broth. I'm going to put the lid on top and cook this on low for about four hours. After four hours, we are going to make the barbecue ranch sauce now. So into this little bowl, I added two cups of barbecue sauce. Next, you'll add three tablespoons of dry ranch seasoning mix and go ahead and stir these two ingredients to combine. Moving on over to our pork chops. I removed all of the liquid in the slow cooker, so now it's just the pork chops in there. I added the barbecue sauce over the top, spread it out, and this is going to cook on low for an additional 20 minutes. While that's cooking away, we are going to get started on our creamy mashed potatoes. This is my favorite way to make them in the Instant Pot. I have my steamer insert right here. I'll link it in my Amazon store for you. It's amazing, it's a lifesaver. I definitely suggest you getting one if you have an Instant pot but I am going to add my russet potatoes on top of that steamer basket just like this. I have about four to five large russet potatoes I peeled and cut into smaller pieces and then I added a cup of water right in my instant pot. I am going to clip the top of the steamer basket just like this so I could put the lid on and then I'm going to put the lid on, put my valve to sealing and I'm going to cook this on high pressure for 11 minutes and then I did a quick release after. So once they 11 minutes was up. I released the steam from the top and then I opened it up once all of the steam was out. Of course, you're going to need to remove all of the liquid at the bottom of the Instant Pot, so I poured that down my drain, and then you are just going to place just the potatoes back into your Instant Pot, and then you'll add in about half a cup of melted butter, half a cup of milk, and a third a cup of sour cream. You could add more or less milk, butter, or sour cream in, depending on your preference, and then I am just mixing this together with my hand mixer. I find that it makes the creamiest potatoes like that, and my daughter Brinley, she just loves mashed potatoes so she was trying to help me but yeah this is my favorite way of making mashed potatoes they are so creamy and you don't need to babysit them over the stove it works so so simply Here's what dinner looks like for you. Those barbecue pork chops are fall apart tender and they really truly do have the most amazing barbecue flavor. Of course, I served it alongside of our creamy mashed potatoes from the Instant Pot and I also served it with some steamed Brussels sprouts. 
Now we're making this pot roast and it is so perfect for any time of year, I promise. To begin, I have about five russet potatoes right here. I peeled them and cut them into larger chunks. Now over to my slow cooker, I have a three pound chuck roast in there. I added two cups of water or you could use beef broth, whatever you prefer. Then add one packet of brown gravy mix over the top, a packet of dry zesty Italian mix, and then two tablespoons of ranch dressing dry mix. All those seasonings will add a ton of flavor. Now go ahead and add the potatoes that we cut into larger chunks. The reason that we cut them into such big chunks is just so they don't overcook in the slow cooker. I also added in a pound of baby carrots and I cooked this on low for about eight hours. Here's the finished product. Cooking your roast like this will make it fall apart tender and buttery soft. Those potatoes and carrots are perfectly tender. They're not too soft, I promise. I really like cooking them with the roast in the beginning like that, just so they have so much flavor in the end. I also serve this alongside of a side salad. Now we're making this green chili chicken with potatoes and carrots. To begin in this bowl, I added one can of cream of chicken. Next, you'll add a can of cream of mushroom. My can of cream of mushroom has roasted garlic in it, but if you can't find that can at the store, just use regular cream of mushroom. I also added in a four ounce can of green chilies along with a half a cup of chicken broth and three tablespoons of dry ranch seasoning. Just give this a really good whisk to combine the ingredients. I have my three large chicken breasts right here. I season them on both sides with pepper, salt, and ranch seasoning mix. If there's any other seasonings you want to season your chicken with, go ahead and season it with them at this point. Over to my medium sized crock pot, I added our pound and a half of baby potatoes in there. Next, add your pound of baby carrots. I do wanna let you know I have all my crock pots linked in my Amazon store if you're wondering what type of crock pots they are. Now over the top of the carrots, I added our three chicken breasts and then go ahead and pour the sauce over the top of everything. This is going to cook on low for about five to six hours. Once the cooking time was up, this was ready to enjoy. If you don't typically cook with green chilies or you haven't used them in a while, I really suggest you trying this recipe out. They're not spicy at all, but they really do add a lot of great flavor. Even my little daughter Brinley loves this dinner. It's a family favorite. I serve this alongside of a really simple side salad. If you know me, you know by now how much I absolutely love pasta. So now we're making this slow cooker Italian pasta. To my slow cooker, I added about 24 ounces of marinara sauce. You could use any brand of marinara sauce you love. Then I added in one diced up white onion along with eight ounces of cubed cream cheese. I cubed my cream cheese just so it melts down the best in the slow cooker. Then I added in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning with a half a teaspoon of salt and a fourth a teaspoon of of black pepper. I gave this a really good stir. Now you're going to add in about a third a cup of water along with your one pound of chicken tenderloins or you could use chicken breast whatever you have on hand or whatever you really want to use. I gave this a stir to coat the chicken in the sauce. This cooked on low for about five hours. Once our cooking time was about up, I started on my pasta. So to this pot of boiling water, I added in about 12 ounces of pasta. You could use any type of pasta you have on hand. I cooked it according to the bag instructions. Now back over to our slow cooker. I am just going to shred up our chicken. I'm using my hand mixer. I find that it shreds chicken wonderfully. Also, it does a great job at combining the cream cheese. So now that our chicken is really well shredded, I added our pasta in and I'm just going to stir this to combine. Here's my bowl of dinner. I topped mine with fresh Parmesan cheese. I love how simple this recipe is. You pretty much just throw everything into the crock pot besides making a little pot of pasta on the side. This pasta really does taste fancy, but we all know it's not fancy. It's just delicious. 
Now we're making this loaded chicken with ranch and bacon. To my slow cooker, I'm adding my two large chicken breasts, along with a fourth a cup of chicken broth, eight ounces of cubed cream cheese, and about two tablespoons of ranch seasoning mix. I put the lid on top and I cooked this on low for about five hours. Once my chicken was completely cooked, I removed the lid and I shredded it up. You could shred it with a meat masher, two forks, or however you choose to do so I like shredding it like I said previously with a electric hand mixer just because it gets that chicken really fine also it really does do a good job at combining that cream cheese so now that our chicken shredded I am going to add in the remaining ingredients so go ahead and toss in your half a cup of Colby Jack cheese along with a third a cup of sliced green onions and eight pieces of cooked crumbled bacon Once the cheese was ooey gooey melty, this was ready to serve. I served it in a hamburger bun, but actually my favorite way of serving this is over egg noodles, but I was all out of egg noodles. You could also serve this over white rice. That would be really good. And then I paired it with steamed broccoli and some fruit on the side. I have plenty more slow cooker videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed down below the video so you don't miss any more in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.